you're making a code here, but note that the code has to be in alphabetical order. So let's say that we had four letters. If you're putting the code in alphabetical order, think about what scenarios you might have, right? A, B. Can you have B, A, right? No, you can't because you can only do things alphabetically. What that does is makes what looks like an ordering question into a grouping question. Actually, there is no ordering component because the other orders aren't possible because you can only go in one order, the alphabetical order. So we need to find the um, minimum number of letters to make at least 12 codes. We've, we've got 12 people, they all need a different bracelet. And um, we need to find the minimum, so it would be smart to use the answer choices and start with the smallest one, because if you don't start with the smallest one, let's say you start in the middle at 6, right, at C. If 6 works, if, if 6 letters allows you to make at least 12 codes, you actually don't know if 6 is the right answer, because it may not be the the smallest number that you need. It could be that 5 makes 12 codes, in which case 6 wouldn't be the least. So if you're looking for the minimum, start with the smallest answer choice, and in this case that's 4. And so you can, of course, uh, for the single digit codes, you can make 4 of them, right? A, B, C, or D. For the double digits, you can choose 4 for the first one, you can choose 3 for the second one, right? Because you can't um, things have to be in alphabetical order and you can't repeat letters. And then because it essentially is a grouping question, you need to do the denominator. So that's 6, and then you can you just add those together, the single codes and the double codes. So for, for 4 letters, you can make 10 codes. Not enough, right? If you had no time left, I would just guess B, right? five letters because it's likely that the f that fifth letter is going to give us the two additional codes that we need but let's just do it um, single codes you got five of them of course and then double codes same thing you've got five letters to choose for the for the first slot four for the second and then because it essentially becomes a grouping question you need to put the denominator in and so we can make ten double di digit codes and you add those together and 15 codes is certainly enough so we're looking at B. There's a very practical way to do this question and for combinatorics questions with like really small numbers just consider writing stuff out and so if you've got four letters A, B, C, D, right, just start thinking about well I've got my A's, right, how many different ways can I do my A's Okay, that's it, right? And then I've got my B's. I'm just respecting that things have to be, oops, B, C, B, D, have to be in alphabetical order and that C, D. Right? There is, there are no other possibilities here. So I've got six there, right? Six double letters, uh, four single letters, and that's ten. Not enough. And then you could do the same thing with five letters, A through E. And just start with A and, and pair these things. Seven, nine, ten, then we get ten of those. So you get a total of fifteen for the five letters.